can be matured. It needs focus and stable requirements, not focus on a wide range of do-everything product with constantly changing requirements. So I feel small bites or measurable bites are often better than large. Keeping the technology appetite under control is, is key as we move in a phased approach. I'd like to again mention, and I've maybe mentioned this in, on previous occasions, is the example of too large a bite. There was an aircraft called the F-1 <coughs> in developed for the Air Force and Navy. Certainly cutting-edge technology for its time. It had a swing wing, terrain following, attack radar, integrated systems, speed and range. It was to be everything, a fighter and a bomber. But in the end, the requirements were too wide-ranging and compromised both capabilities and never did either of them really well. So therefore, if you look at the platforms where the evolution has been in smaller measured bytes, you've seen much greater success. Lockheed thrives on worldwide industry technology infusion. By using the platform as a base, and continuing to evolve it with time and technologies. But there is a focused product on which those technologies integrate to, and we're talking about system design and systems of systems. Much of the technology seen today on modern day fighters are pulled from many US and foreign sources. It has, it has not been a result of pushing technology to the industry. We at Lockheed have been using the same approach for the F-35, a truly worldwide infusion of technology as in Kappa. Technology must be incubated in industry and academia as well as government organizations. It requires a significant positive risk reward model. Profit should not be viewed as a bad thing. It requires intellectual property protection that industry must count on, stringent penalties for every theft. Industry relationships with mutual technology sharing are acquired over time and not one from the firms. As an example, Lockheed's industry relationship on the F-16 were born in every country it has been exported to. Belgium, UK, Netherlands, Denmark, Norway, Israel, Greece, Turkey, Korea, and Japan. <coughs> they all have thriving aerospace industries. Because of these long-term and relationship built on trust and mutual business interests, we now have technology from these countries being infused into the F-16s and f 35 This is Lockheed's approach for India as well. Develop industry relationships with a large international footprint. Mature and use India technology to the maximum extent possible. Put Indian industry on the worldwide relationship path of military aviation. In India, we've been combing the landscape with over 100 companies, um, Indian companies, large, small, medium enterprises. And we continue to do that. And it, it's a dynamic. It's not that you do it once and you're done. There are a lot of startups that are coming up. And there are a lot of startups in the US. There are a lot of startups all around the world. Okay.